right way of doing it, assuming. But I'll, we'll find out in detail. But we assume that if we're required to use certain metals for this kind of machinery, they're required to use certain detergents, certain solvents for cleaning the materials, then they should they should work together. I don't see why standards for material used in food application and solvents for cleaning them would clash. Steve, you welcome you to the to world of standards. Yeah, I can answer that. <laughs> Steve, well, no, Steve. I, I, I can What's answer the very question. Important Basically, question. most, uh, as you look in our factory, most of the materials that we use is stainless steel, yeah. right? And basically, the cleaning of everything is soap and water, basically. And that's approved by you know all the standards and stuff like that. Because we don't we don't work with with uh, see the turnaround the product is it goes to the machine, goes out, goes to the freezer, and out. It's a, it's a really quick process that we are involved in. But if heat makes it out of plain carbon steel, it'll rust if you clean it with soap and water. It will mm -hmm. rust. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But that's that's why this is so, not, not the final. So right. we're gonna have to find a uh, a product that I have to find exactly which one with my plant manager if there is a different product that they use, not uh, soap and water. It, it won't it won't be a problem with the final design. This is a prototype that's gonna show you how it works. Actual material selection, like final material, will be given to you in design for a final build. But in order to, with the budget given, to build this with the stainless steel materials that are required, it's just not feasible with that budget. Stain, machining and the cost of stainless steel and the machining cost of stainless steel is very expensive. No, no, I understand that the prototype will not, I, I don't know the, how faculty runs the project or not, but what you're trying to tell me is that the final prototype that you're going to show to us in December is not going to be with uh, stainless steel. It's, go it's going to be a machine that we're going to put dough on it, it and it will show us exactly how the process will be with the thickness and everything else. Based on that and, and the parameters that you will, guys will create, we'll send that to a, uh, some sort of engineering shop, engineering shop that right. will create the products up to the standard that, that right. the factory requires. So that'll be the requires. details about every material that we're going to be using for every roller, every, every, every part of the machine. Right, so the main concept will be to show that once we put the dome on top, it is your, your product. You will be ready for these guys. Right. Okay. Now, are all the rollers adjustable? Yeah. Um, that's a weird, that's what, initially, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to make them on, on hand adjustability to incorporate the, the fine tuning. Like, Speed and the diameter, uh, diameter of the thickness should, should you know, work together. Uh, we should be able to tune this to where it works perfectly. Figuring out a method to keep contact between the gears between each pair of rollers is difficult. It became difficult uh, to figure out, so we're going to have to change the design around a little bit, incorporating maybe uh, some kind of spring-loaded tensioners and a couple more gears in between each stage to allow for adjustability and still. At least for the last, the last stage, like for the last because that's the one that determines exactly the thickness of the Sure, and he's going to want to maybe change the thickness yeah, exactly. of the dough. Uh, yes. You need that level of flexibility. Not only that, but what we're trying to do is just to be a, a multifunction machine at some point. Right. Yeah. Yes, that was discussed with, with, with the group. Yeah. Uh, and uh, just changing a little bit the subject, I, I was not clear on what is the bottom part of it. Is it what? It's a vacuum? It's a it's a collection pan. So anything that comes through, like we're gonna have the way we're gonna apply the or we're thinking about applying the flour is going to be let's say this has a certain collection of flour in here. We're gonna have this siphoned through with a with a pump with an air pump and blown into multiple points on the actual the sheet uh, the sheet steel out, out exterior, blowing into certain stages. So we're gonna have like a whirlwind of, of flour inside the unit, and as it's gonna come through, this is gonna be a mesh a mesh uh, steel mesh. Uh, belt and it's going to fall through and recollect so we have like a recirculation of flour. Got it. Any other comments?